Ladies and gentlemen, we were talking about slope intercept form. We're actually spending about a week uh, reviewing some algebra concepts because this is Algeo 1, Algebra Geometry 2. Uh, you did learn all this stuff in Algebra Geometry 1. In fact, my classes spent about three or four weeks on it. That's basically an entire month. Uh, learning concepts about slope, slope intercept form. My classes did so good at it that we actually did it twice because it was so bad the first time. Uh, so that's what we're working on. We're working on slope intercept form. Uh, we'll also do point slope form. We'll also do standard form. We'll also do parallel and perpendicular lines. Uh, but I might be gone for that for you guys when you do it. You'll take a quiz over it. Uh, next Thursday, right before your four-day break, which I'll also be gone for. Next weekend. Yes. So let's get started. Slope intercept form. A linear equation. A linear equation is an equation whose graph makes a line. Your sketch is so smart. It's a linear equation, so it forms a line. Please write the word line on the line. The y-intercept of a linear equation is where the graph crosses the y-axis. Why are we doing? No, y-axis. OK. Um, the measure of the steepness of a line is called the slope. slope. Yes, the slope is the steepness. That's good. The slope-intercept form of a linear equation is well, that's close. Let me read the rest of it. Where M represents the blank and B represents the blank. So it has to have an M and a B in it. No. No. <laughs> no. It's an equation. What's slope intercept form? There we go. Y equals MX plus B. I'm glad you guys remember this. This is good. Uh, where M represents the slope. And B represents the y-intercept. Yeah, we just talked about these words, so we should be good. So we have a line with a, the y-intercept right here, which is also B, is the where it intersects the y-axis. Uh, measure of the steepness is the slope. There's a reason it's called slope-intercept form. It's because we have y equals mx plus B. The slope is the m, the intercept, or the y-intercept is the b. That's why it's called those, because those are the two pieces you need in order to solve this. You need the slope, and you need the y-intercept. If you have the slope and the y-intercept, you're done. Slope and y-intercept. y equals mx plus b. Um, this is the easiest of the three of them in order to graph. So we're going to take a look at graphing these right now. Um, very easy concept for us. Uh, there's five steps here. It says solve the equation for y. Basically, get y by itself. Step two, plot b on the y-intercept. So if it's positive, you're going to move up that many spaces. If it's negative, you move down that many spaces. Uh, three, from the y-intercept point, you step out the slope. So basically, what that means is that uh, you're going to use that rise over run mentality. The rise over run, where this is how far up or down. This is how far right or left. Um, it says if the numerator of the fraction is positive, go up. If it's negative, you're going to go down. And you always go to the right for the denominator. Always. Okay? And that's going one direction. You also need to make it go the opposite direction. So you use the opposite opposite. And we're going to talk about this very soon. The opposite opposite um, slope, which we're going to talk about. It's going to be really easy. You're going to see it. You're going to be like, whoa, dang, that's so easy. Uh, you're going to connect the, the points to make the line, and I think there's going to be more than two points. There'll be several of them. If the slope is positive, the line should go up. Does that make sense? Yep. Up is positive. If it's negative, it should go down. Does that make sense? Yep. And both of those are, as you talk about, to the right. Okay. So let's try this. Here's some examples. Y equals one half. And did your copy not come out great? Are there some maybe lines missing here? Can you kind of can you tell where they're at though? Okay. So it says y equals 1 half x minus 4. What's the slope? 1 half. What's the y-intercept? Negative 4. OK. So according to our instructions, we have to solve for y. Is it already solved for y? Yeah, OK. And we're supposed to, number 2, we're supposed to plot the y-intercept. It's negative, so that means we basically go down 4. 
4. So from 0, 0, we go down 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Put a little point there. Okay, and our slope is positive. So number 3, we're supposed to step out, I guess, something like that. So we go up 1 over 2. Up 1 over 2. This is really hard to draw. This is a very small graph. Up 1 over 2. And basically, I want you to do this till you fall off the graph. So keep going up 1 and over 2, up 1 over 2, till you fall off the graph. Oh, yeah, then we're going to have to do the opposite, opposite slope. So what's the opposite of positive 1? Down 1. And then over 2 would be actually be left 2, which is a negative 2. So it's opposite, opposite. So what that means is basically I'm going to go down 1 and over 2 this way. Down 1, over 2. Down 1, over 2. Down 1, over 2. Till I fall off the graph this direction. Okay, you have all those little points on there. Then you're going to take out some sort of straight edge, whether it's your binder, whether it's your some piece of paper, whether it's your planner, which is actually has a really nice cover to it, which is good for this. And you are actually going to use some sort of straight edge, something, whether it's your ID card, your calculator. Some people's calculators are straight. Some people have some folded piece of paper in half. Some have a book. Some have a whatever straight, your driver's license, whatever it might be. And you're actually going to draw a straight line right through the, oh boy, that's terrible. Something like that is what you should have. Is that good? Can you do that? And you should draw arrows on the ends because it does go on forever in each of those directions. And it should be drawn all the way over to the sides of the graph as well. You shouldn't, like some people draw your graph like this, which is not good. Okay? So you have to go all the way to the edges of the graph, and you also need to have arrows on the on the ends. Are we okay? Okay. Um, number two. What's the slope? Negative two thirds. Uh, what's the y intercept? Positive three. So what do we do at the three? We go up three, so it's going to be right about there. Uh, slope is negative, so I'm going to expect to be going down. So I basically go down two and then right three. Down two, right three. This isn't that hard, is it? This is pretty easy, isn't it? We've already done this before. I feel like we've done this before. Uh, we're also going to use the opposite, opposite slope, so that would be positive 2, negative 3, so that means I'm going to go from my original point, my up 3, remember that part? I'm going to go up 2, and then right 3, or left 3, up 2, right, le it's really the left, I have a hard time with my rights and left, uh, up 2, left 3, until we get all those points, so we fall off the sides of the page, pull out that straight edge again, Straight edge, and we draw it like that. That's awful. Don't draw it like that. That was terrible. Let's redo that. Oh boy, I lost some points. Um, let's see. Something like that. Make sure there's arrows. Make sure it crosses all the way. Is this okay? Andrew, you're the man. You know that. You're the man. Help me with number three. No, what's my slope? It's just two. X is talking about a variable. The slope is just two. What's your y-intercept? Negative five. What do I do with the negative five? One, two, three, four, five. Oh, that's right where that dark line is at. Okay. Now what? It's rise over run, so that means I go up. Okay, up two to the right one, up two, right one, up two, right one, up two, right one, until we fall off this page, which should be pretty soon. In the same way, we'll use the opposite, opposite slope, which means we go down two and left one. So down two, left one, down two, left one, until I fall off the page, which isn't very far. Pull that straight edge again, and hopefully. Your lines are straighter than my lines, like so. And we're good. Is that okay? Carrington! <laughs> Help us with the next one. Negative 3 is the slope. Good. Not negative 3x, just negative 3. 4 is the y-intercept. Okay, 
so uh, where do I start? I, yep, since it's positive, I'm going to go up 4, which looks like that. Then what? Since the slope is negative 3, and it's supposed to be rise over run, how far am I rising? Negative 3, right? That means I'm going to go down 3 and right 1. So the rise, how far up or down am I going? I'm going down 3. And the run is basically just a positive 1. So from here I go down 3, right 1, down 3, right 1, down 3, right 1, down 3, right 1, down 3, right 1. That's off the page. I also use the opposite, opposite slope, which would be positive 3 over negative 1, which means that I go up 3, but this time I go left 1. So up 3, left 1 is right there. Up 3, left 1 is like that. It's a pretty steep line, I think. Let's draw a straight line through there. And notice the slope is negative, and from left to right, we're falling down. Like if this was a mountain, we'd be rolling down this mountain, correct? Yes. What's that? Oh, that's reminds me of that Jack and Jill business. Mm -hmm. uh, they went up a hill to fetch a pail of water. Um, Jack fell down and broke his crown. And Jill came tumbling after. Yeah. I'm not sure how much rhyming there is in that, but there's, there's a little bit. Tucker, what do we do for the fifth one? Uh, the slope is one negative one three. Sounds good. And uh, intercept is positive two. Okay, where do I start? Uh, if you want to do it, you're right here. It's harder than it looks. Right there. Then what do we do? And that way. We're gonna go since the slope is negative one go four. Go down, right four. Yes, down one, right four. Down one, right four, down one, right four, till you fall off the page. Isn't that hard to get things to line up? Yeah. Very difficult. Okay, so I would fall off the page. Then we have to use the opposite, opposite slope, which would be up one, left four. And then up one, left four again. One, two, three, four. I think one more over. I think it's right there. Yeah, right there, I think. And you can't really erase that one. Just you have to draw over. No. No, that'd be neat though if you could. So then we just have to draw the line. Good luck with this one, yeah. Okay, I'll draw it for you. You draw the line right through there, something like that. Make sure it goes to the edges and uh, make sure there's arrows on the end. Are we okay with this? Is this fine? Okay. Sam, client sensor, I want you to help me with the last one. Sam, is red okay? Red okay? Do you really need the paper? It's comfort. Okay. So what's the slope? Yep. It's harder than it looks. You may, you just think I'm just writing on a board. It's not. It's m equals four, and you could say four over one if you want. So four over one, and b our y-intercept is negative six. Okay. So what do we do first, Sam? Oh, we do not. So we go down six first. Okay. So we always do the B part first, the going down six. And then we go up four over one, which looks awful on there. Is that awful? It is. Yep, it's tough. Over one. And up four over one until we fall off the page. Looks good. Now we have to use the opposite, opposite slope. So down four and left one. Then we have to draw the line, which is my job. I got to do that. That's why I get paid the big money to uh, draw the straight line. It looks something like like of that. Okay. Okay. So that's what we're working on today. Is this tough? No. Okay. So always use shh, always use the B part first. Sometimes you'll have to solve for y to get that first, which we've we've done it several times, one and two step equations. Plot the b, which is the y-intercept. 
use the slope to make movements to the right and then also to the left. Connect the points and just know that if it's positive slope, it's going up from left to right. If it's negative slope, it's going down from left to right. Um, remember this stuff. This might come and haunt you at another time. Um, just to know that a linear equation is a, forms a line. The y-intercept crosses the y-axis. Steepness is the slope. Slope-intercept form is y equals mx plus b. We'll probably have to cover that again. Where m is the slope and b is the y-intercept. You guys do have homework tonight, which I'm going to be happy to give you right now.